tradies and gentlemen. We are. Fuck, we're on to a fucking great start. Uh, I'm just going to restart it, eh? <laughs> Tradies and gentlemen. I'm uh, keeping that. <laughs> <laughs> I have all the power. Uh, before we start this episode of the Veggie Bag, I want to ask that you head over to whatever social platform you're on. Give us a like, a follow, whatever you do on that platform. It helps us help you enjoy yourselves. Uh, how are we doing, lads? How are we doing? Not doing too bad, buddy. How are you doing? Can't be bad with this fucking beautiful new mic energy we have going on over here. Oh, they're a couple of days old now. They are when, a couple of days old now. When this goes out. <laughs> me, me, me and Froome have had a busy week at work and you didn't get a chance to grab yours. Did nah. you, Froome? No, I did not. Hey, he's been too fucking busy. Too busy. Hey. Let out. Um, well, let's I mean, fucking... Do we have a hypothetical or anything to start us off here? or No, no hypothetical, but I figure we'll just dive into some maths. Probably it might the, be a good idea to start with, yeah. It's all the hype. Uh, commitment ceremony. I didn't uh, catch any of this yesterday. I was watching the footy. So. Ooh, what, happened la- what happened last night? Uh, so it was the commitment ceremony. Uh, so we had some some people staying, some people leaving. Um, Ooh, Jesse, geez. Jesse fucking did it. He got the fuck out. Uh, so he was dating Claire, the cheater. Oh, yes. The witch. The witch cheater, yeah. She just deserves to get labelled as that too. Like, you're a cheater and you look like a witch. Oh, fucking autistic Jesse. He does He does have a... He's on the spectrum, that's for damn sure. Um, I had a conversation with someone about this the other day and they literally asked me, they're like, do you reckon he's autistic? And I was like, no, I reckon he's a psycho. <laughs> All right, there, there's a difference. Yeah. Uh, you could tell the way that he, like, his character started cracking on that couch last night. He was talking and then all of a sudden he started saying something like, and you could tell in the middle of the sentence that he like triggered himself with what he was saying because he started like speaking in this really like stunted and like aggressive way all of a sudden. Yeah. Yeah. He does get a bit like that. Um, I, I loved when they panned to, to him. It's like a full fucking big scene and it's like, um, oh, you know, Jesse, could you, like, take it in your heart to forgive her? And then they, like, go to an ad, they come back, they re-ask the question, like, redo the video, and it, like, pans around the room, there's, like, yeah. happy music on and shit, and then it just goes to him, and the music stops, and he's just like, nah. <laughs> <laughs> just straight up, like, nah, she cheated on me. What are you talking about? <laughs> oh, bro, it was so fucking good. Yeah. Oh. Um, it's like, nah, fuck happening? that bitch. That, that other chick that walked out, what's her name? Taylor. Um, no, 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 no. The chick that like just started crying. She's got like a kid. Oh, she's, I don't know her name, but her, her husband's name is Duncan. Oh, yeah. the one that just cries. Alyssa? The one that cri- Yeah, that's her. Yeah. Alyssa Ooh. or something. She just cries over absolutely everything. Oh, well, she was on another one for him last night. Um, <laughs> on another one? She, she had when another fit. When isn't she on one? When, oh, I don't know. You mean, they go on a retreat and I like, she full digs herself into like a hole because she's just like, well, I didn't know where you're all day. Eh? What am I just meant to come down to a bunch of guys playing tennis? You're like, well, you knew where I was. <laughs> yeah. I see. I seen that through the week. <laughs> so yeah, like you just, you know, you just call your own bluff, but um, yeah. So they sit on the lounge. I don't really know what happened to be fair. She just started crying. <laughs> um, stormed off. Duncan done the usual thing, followed her, trying to make sure she was all right. Um, she pretty much got in the elevator by herself. It was weird. He didn't really try to get in, but she didn't want him in there. You could tell. Um, she went downstairs, went for a bit of a bit of a cry downstairs, I guess. Something different. So Duncan started shitting on her on the couch. Um, not really shitting on her, just being like, "Look, I was about to say, done the Amber right. Heard." Yeah, he just <laughs> like, lowered his pants and let loose on the couch there. <laughs> But he didn't really say anything too bad. He was just like, um, oh, it's like walking around on eggshells, which it would be with her. She's fucking, just like, fuck, anything happened. Fucking water's not a cold enough, she'd cry. Yeah, yeah I, I, he was just having doing? a fucking good time. She's just trying to play some tennis with the boys, you know. <laughs> um, yeah, but she started crying on the couch and, um, yeah, just stormed off. And he started, like, kind of saying, you know, what where he's at with a relationship. Then she came back in. The experts did their thing. You know, I, uh, a little bit, a tiny bit. They were like, pretty much just gave her the, this goes both ways 
conversation, really, which was needed. I think she did need that. Well, he seemed like an all right bloke. Yeah, he seems like, well, that's what they said. They're like, you're with one of the most, like, emotional available guys here, which makes sense. Like, look at the other guys. There's, like, one of them who's, like, a child. I don't know his name. He's, like, got black hair, kind of shortish kind of black hair. Uh, he's dating one of the blonde girls. There's that many of them. The voiceover artist? Is that, yeah, o- that... Ollie? He do- yeah, Ollie, Ollie. Yeah. He, doesn't get he, much, he doesn't get much air time. No, nah, but yeah, cause cause he, he's not controversial, bro. Yeah, yeah no, they're, they're just, like, the, out of the drama. <laughs> yeah. If you... Like, we spoke about the other week. It, like, it, it can't all just be actors kind of thing. There has to be real people in there. So they're, like, the real, like normal people that they legitimately just like oh okay these people are a good match and they're not gonna like they're just gonna exist here for us to point the camera at every now and then for them to go when something yeah. goes wrong with the couch <laughs> literally 100%. that's all that dude that he's fucking funny though like you see some of the little shit that he does it was um i don't that douchebag i don't think you know his name he's with bronte What's oh, harrison. harrison harrison's like trying to <laughs> Trying to fake cry on the couch again um, during the dinner party, and it just cuts to a video of just him on his own, and he's like full dead serious, and he's like, "Yeah, I've kind of noticed when Harrison cries, no tears actually coming out, <laughs> and it's just like <laughs> the most awkward but funny like just little thing." Um, it's like, yeah, I don't know. This year is weird. I watched it last year as well, and last year was nowhere near as like put on. It feels. Well, fucking hell. You saw the previews for what's going to happen tomorrow, didn't you? Oh, dude, yeah, that is... That's chaos waiting to happen. absolutely unprecedented for him. I wonder if it's just going to be them two couples or if it's going to be all the couples. No, it's it's all of them. That's how they explained it. Is that like... Is that... I've seen like a thing on the news. Is that like a couple swap or some bullshit? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That's interesting. Because they're doing two couples that hate each other. No, they're doing everybody, apparently. Yeah, but I mean, like, um, that douche with Harrison is going with the Bronte. That couple that he's been, yeah. And then that dude's going with Bronte. The same, like Melinda or something like that? Yeah, that does. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Some, something like that. Yeah. So, yeah, the, they kind of, you know, the couple that fought at the um, retreat? It's like the blonde chick and Bronte. They got it, into it a bit. Uh, the blonde chick and like she's like a CEO of some company and the bloke she's with running like some veterinary medicine fucking company to do with like marijuana and shit or something, I think. Yeah, what I mean. Now I've thought about this, and this could work out well in my favour. Alright. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Cause if Evelyn gets with somebody better than Rupert, then she's gonna be disappointed when she gets back. Try and go for a man that's got a guy, like a man that's already got somebody, then be completely left on her own, and then it's Nettie's time to strike. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna like <laughs> kill your buzz here a little bit. I don't know if there's better than Rupert. He's the best dude on there, hands down. Nah, fuck it. Yeah, fuck it. He's got your girl, so like we're gonna have to, you know, kill him where he sleeps. That's I was saying it last night. He fucking his hands can't even not shake when he's with us. Yeah, he's he's not built for it. <laughs> but I he mean, can't like, handle the pressure. Look out, I mean, Rupert! You got Nettie coming for you, mate. Mister, steal hey. your girl down here. Mister, steal your girl's coming for you. Would Nettie just turn into? Rupert? Hey, I, I spent like, all Nettie I, I spent all be last week being Mister, steal your panel. <laughs> <laughs> Is it just going to come to Nettie on the pod? Just like not Mister, fuck the vibe. Side? He's just like fucking shaking, sitting in the corner. Yeah, maybe we need to get us next to each other. In a public Maybe. setting, and I can prove it. And literally, just fucking put my hand next to him and be like, "Say this, say yeah. that, sturdy, S- stone cold." <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't, yeah, I don't think Rupert's built for that type of heat. You know what I mean? No, not at all. Well, they say jet fuel doesn't meet melts steel beams or something like that. <laughs> so, you know. I mean, it's probably a good segue into what we really wanted to talk about this week. Mm. Uh, are we going to get invaded by a mothership? I, th- I, th- it's, I spoke about it recently, right? It's the whole Hope thing. Not, not in the ocean. What? what? Mother- <laughs> you said a mothership. I said, I hope not, because I've been in the fucking ocean. You want swimming? Yeah. yeah you don't think, down, I don't think aliens can swim. <laughs> down at Unandera. I thought, he was ta- I thought he was talking about some fucking Russian war coming to get us. 
Oh, no. Them cunts are getting everybody. I was going to say, I hope not, because I'm fucking working near the ocean. I mean, oh, we both are. Yeah, you don't, you don't want to be working too close to subs. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll, we'll get into subs after this topic. Um, it leads into me recently talking talking about they're going to make like a big public event close to when they release the the list. They'll re- have a huge public event that like scares the shit out of everyone. We'll go into like a frenzy. No one will give a flying fuck about the list because there'll just be people dying and shit. It'll be chaos, but it's all going to be like put on. People are going to die, but it's all going to be like put on in my opinion and then it's going to lead to like a mass isolation we're all going to be like cooped up again because like cooping Mm. us up is like their way to control us and when they need to control us what do they do they do dodgy shit like cook up shit in labs which we'll get into yeah but also a deeper topic But, but um like well like obviously you've seen the footage that's been kicking around on like tiktok of um, well, it's just anywhere, like it's even been on the news and stuff like that. There's been massive fucking, like, not just like sightings of like regular small ships or anything like that, like giant things with like massive arrays of lights. That it's obviously not just like a bunch of ships like moving slowly through the skies of Toronto. I've seen three different videos from like three different angles of that. Uh, apparently, I think it was last week sometime, a 10 fleet a uh, 10 ship fleet of uh US Navy ships were accosted by over a hundred unidentified flying objects to the point that like all flights on the west coast of America were grounded for an entire day That's some scary shit hey, if they're like going yeah. after that type of shit well it's not even that they're going after per se it's just like they're just like, making their presence more and more known yeah maybe like getting some type of like information read or something i guess they could just be fucking trying to figure out where our technology's at because the last big boom of shit was probably like you know big boom of like all the sightings and everything it was probably like 10 years ago yeah that and then probably like really like the 40s and 50s before that is when it really started like because, like, if you go back in, like, history and know what you're looking for, people have seen these things forever. Mm. Like, hundreds yeah. of years ago, they like, the descriptions of random, unidentified flying occurrences, like... Yeah, well, they're, like, even in, like, the fucking pyramid fucking years, there's, like, sightings that are, like, carved into shit. Yeah. It's just, like, something floating above other shit with a beam of light. It's, like, what the fuck else would that be? Which... Leads me into, like, something that you spoke to me about, which I don't think Froomey's heard. It's an interesting theory in the sense that, like, aliens aren't actually aliens. They're just us from before. From, yeah, either before or after, just from different timelines. I've been listening to a bit of uh, Tom DeLonge, former Blink-182 singer, turned absolute conspiracy nut. Um, Super intelligent dude, though, started... To the Stars, it's like some academy and they just st- study UFOs, which have a different name now. I can't think of what they are. UAPs. Yeah, yeah, that's the one. Which is dumb. Why change it? What's wrong with the UFO? Maybe because they identified it? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Mate, what's that, what's that fucking stand for? Oh, I don't fucking know. No, neither um, do But it's... Like you said, it's one of those... It's just weird. Like, obviously, they've all known about this shit for years. There's been people in the military coming out for, like, a decade now saying that, like, we've seen this shit. These are all the experiences we've had. The government knows. We told them about it. So, like, here's the information. It's in your fucking hands. So why is it now? Because it's not only just to the fact that it's like, oh, like, media is reporting on it kind of thing. I seen it... I saw a TikTok video of some like mass media Fox news show over there talking about the Pentagon releasing a report on this stuff. So I was like, why now? Because they got shit to cover up. So yeah. That's what they do essentially. Just keep your eyes open for a a bunch of other things. Yeah. Shit from years ago to cover shit from today. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately. But like it works, you know what I mean? It like because people are like that invested in the news and yeah, whatever like, gets put into mainstream media, people just jump onto. Yeah, and they like yeah, people just latch to it. Um, yeah, when there's like so much other information that you can just go look into, like if you're just not on Facebook or Nine News, yeah, which is like the worst news sources ever. Well, you know, speaking of looking into information and things sort of like coming to light. I've also seen a bunch of footage. I'm not sure when it's, it's uh, when it is exactly from, but I know it's recent. There, it's yeah. Anybody smell toast? Uh, <laughs> um, uh, some hearings that have been happening over in like a Senate committee in the US, and they have a dude on called uh, Dr. Robert Red Field, I believe his name is. He was a high-ranking member of the CDC who was appointed as a member of the COVID ta- like the head of the COVID task force when all of this shit happened over here. And they're like, this hearing is extremely telling. It's mainly focused around communication between some guy and uh, I think his name's either, I think it's Anthony Fauci, the uh, dude who was essentially like their health minister. He was like the head of the CDC. Um, So he was the dude setting all of the protocols for all of their shit over there. And there's like constant communication between him and some guy saying that like, there is literally no way that this, disease could have formed itself in nature like it's not possible even over like a long period of time let alone like the period of time that it just appeared out of nowhere yeah it literally just came out of i remember it like kind of started sparking up like oh there's some cases of this in china and then you were like oh that sounds pretty fucking crazy and then like within like three days you're like oh there's been cases in sydney and cases here in brisbane and you're like what the fuck like how the fuck did it just do that so fucking fast. Like, you yeah, didn't... it just, just fucking appeared out of nowhere. Yeah. And then there's, yeah, as another part of this hearing that uh, doctor I was talking about a bunch of things relating to, the, like, the lab that they believe that it came from. And there was just some weird shit that happened around it. So they deleted, like, a bunch of their research files for, like, long-standing research that they were doing into diseases and patents and all that kind of thing, which is pretty much unheard of. The uh, control of the lab itself changed from civilian clearance to military clearance. And in the next couple of days after their clearance was, like, changed from civilian to military, there was an order to do a complete rework of the ventilation and air conditioning system in the place. Yeah, right. Mm. All too sus. It's always been too sus for me. Yeah. Like, yeah, it is. It's fucking... As, as three people that experienced it, we're not sitting here fucking saying, it's not real, it doesn't exist. It does exist. It's a fucking thing. I had it, and it sucked. Yeah, definitely. We all had it, and it, it wasn't sucks. great. No. But I am... Yeah, completely under the impression that that shit didn't just happen. Because if that shit just happens, it would have happened before. If you know what I mean. We would have had a bad strain of the flu that was this contagious and was fucking this many people up. And Yeah, well, their whole, their whole thing, sorry to cut you off, was, oh, it come from fucking eating a bat or whatever. Well, if that's so, fucking the Chinese didn't just start eating fucking bats. Yeah, Ozzy Osbourne has been doing that for fucking <laughs> decades. Like... You think no, he would have? He would have had it first. Oh fuck, man! It's gonna be sad when that cunt dies. But it's oh, a brilliant point in the sense that, like, oh yeah, it's fucking. It's come from this now, and it's like, are you trying to say that Chinese wet markets were just made in the year twenty yeah, nineteen? No, it didn't just China's happen. been like that forever. Like, but, well, and all of a sudden, one <laughs> one bad bat that some cunt ate it was like the reason for these things spreading around the world. Yeah, and Americans have only been loud and fat for two years. Like, fuck off. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Fucking dropped him with that one. He's he's gone. (laughs) Like, it's fucking... But no, like, that is a... Like, I haven't actually heard that fucking point before. Of Like, yeah, like, why did everybody just jump on that straight away? Oh, it's because they were eating bats. It's like... I bet the amount of people that said that that would have gone to China and eaten street food 
and then still said that like oh it must be because of that yeah like yeah. At, why at first when someone said it i was like oh yeah and then i like thought about it and i was like wait they didn't just start fucking doing that like it's no. not something yeah. they just started doing anyone yeah, with they... like logical thinking can just be like well that's been a thing for fucking forever yeah but see here's the thing it was like a broad like that was just painting it with like a broad ass fucking racist brush right they're just throwing it over like, oh, the Chinese people eat bats. And then all of a sudden, people started having that thought of like, well, hang on, the Chinese people have been eating bats for fucking ages. Like, yeah, what won't they eat? Why the fuck? And then all of a sudden, some cunt turned around, no, 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 it was a pangolin. A fucking what? <laughs> she had people that had to look up what a pangolin was. Is that like a mix between a penguin and a bird of some kind? Bro, it looks like a real life sand shrew. The Pokemon? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right. Oh, fuck. Well, they've been eating them. <laughs> Apparently. Like I said, what won't they eat? Um, I'd give anything a crack, I know that. I mean, whatever they can get their hands on, they're going to fucking cook up and they're going to make it delicious. Probably serve it with some noodle. Maybe some fry rye. <laughs> Nooder. Got a special fry rye. But yeah, um, it's all fucking... Well, I, I've known a few people that have been saying that since it first happened, like COVID first came out, like it's made in a lab, made in a lab. And I'm always like, I don't care enough to look into it really. But it's like, now that it's like being pushed back on us again, like you just start hearing about it again. You're like, what the fuck? And so, like, plus you go on any website that offers delivery. Every single website will have, oh, could be delayed due to COVID. No, shut up. COVID's done. Yeah, now it's just an excuse for every cunt to use. Yeah, COVID's behind like, us. Like, oh, somebody might get sick somewhere, so it's going to be another three weeks. Fuck off. Like, something we just have to fucking live with, like... like they yeah. stopped the, stop the, stop the world enough for it. Like, it's... Yes, it's another form of illness, but the world must continue to move. But see, that's the thing. It worked <laughs> on a on a global scale and, yeah, on a longer scale. COVID, in its essence, is still just a TikTok video, if you get what I mean. Eventually, there was a day where everyone just fucking moved on with their lives. Like, mm. the world is just so fucking scroll, get to the next thing, move on. That's why it's so easy for them to drop this fucking UFO shit at the moment, because... If a mothership does land, everyone's going to be talking about something different in a year anyway. Yeah, yeah, it'll it'll get like they'll use it to their advantage, and then they just got a good way to brush it back under the rug. News is projected in the like the worst fucking way, man. You look at like headlines, even just on like news in our country, and it'll be like, oh, like fucking you know, a, a massive protest in Israel because of fucking energy rights or some shit like that. And there's like three seconds of footage, and then they cut to. 10 minutes of fucking, oh, the Oscars are on today. Look at all the famous people in their pretty dresses. Yeah. yeah what? Just, yeah, it's fucking Look stupid. over here. Look at my dingling keys so you don't look at what I'm doing under the table. Yeah. Fuck off. Well, it's like, how much do you hear about, like, I forgot that the war was a thing for a while, hey? Just, like, yeah. com- completely it was f- out of my mind. Obviously, I'm not in that country. It's not affecting me. It was out of my mind. And then just randomly... It's like popped up in some news feed like, oh, yeah, it's a year on from when the war started. And a it's like, year? You know, yeah, yeah, that was like probably two weeks ago now. Yeah, Jeez. it's a year since the war started and it's like still just been going every day, just as harsh as it was at the start. And you're like, how the fuck haven't we been being televised about this shit? Like, it's just fucking gone bush after because they just spat it in our face for a while and then like some other fucking famous person died. So they just forget about it. And like, oh, we've got to celebrate this fucking loser. Yeah. Yeah, not about it. Not nah, about it. Like, it just makes no fucking sense. Yeah, like, I don't really follow, like, the mainstream media and shit. I don't, like, I hardly watch TV or anything. But, like, there was a while there where just anything in my, like, any of my feeds on, like, social media was just all about the fucking war. And then it just stopped. Mm. Yeah, they just, like, they had something. Someone died. I don't, it might have been Shane Warne or it might have been I still say Andrew fuck Simons or something. Did the Queen die? Hopefully. Like, after the war in Russia started? Lisa. Um, yeah. And then it just, like, everything just went fucking silent. How long have we had that jerky brewing for? <laughs> yeah, about yeah, about that time. 
room is so confused. So she like, oh, <laughs> as, as, soon as, as soon as he said the jerk, yeah, I, I know where this is going. She's like, oh, all right, I realized who said it. <laughs> Just Kobe coming along. Oh, fuck it out. <laughs> He's nearly ready, to be honest. Um, <laughs> he kind of got rushed through because there was like already a bit of burning happening to the body. And so yeah, we kind of rushed him through the process a bit. We had to chop off a few pieces. Um, but he's coming along well. He's coming along well, boys. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Fucking hell. We made it through an eggplant episode without a comeback joke. So I suppose we were due for a fucking Kobe one. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Something was due. Boys, boys. Something had to happen. I mean, we'll make it for the team. You're like, what the fuck? Yeah, now you can't say Kobe when you shoot shit into the bin. You got to say the name of the airline because they're the ones yeah. who got the real final shot. Well, like, spe- yeah, well, like speaking Pretty of that, minor. it's funny how like generations change. As kids, we'd like, you know, you'd shoot something into the hoop. You're like, oh, Kobe. Now the kids, like the kids, will fucking grab something and be like, "Oh, LeBron James," and like aim for the like the bin or something. Like, yeah. it's just funny how like through generations, shit like that changes through names. Do you yeah, that's yeah, it, man. The generation before us would have been Jordan for sure. Yeah, yeah, one hundred percent. Is he still alive? I've I seen him at a, a game recently. Yeah, yeah. Jordan's still alive. He, oh, man, he owns one of the teams. I'm pretty sure. Oh, He's yeah, part owner of the that. Hornets. Jeff Horn's team. He owns Jeff Horn. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want it. Jeff's his, Jeff's his slave or he's his carer. I don't know. Uh, Something weird happened in there. Go to oh, Jesus Hornet. Christ. Um, me. Um, me. Well, <laughs> considering I was talking about TikTok, let's talk about... Something that sort of involves it and then another thing that's been prominent on it in the past couple of days. Every time I seem to open TikTok in the like last little bit, I seem to be getting a lot of Will Smith movie clips. So that, I don't know whether this is by proxy of the fact that he's quite heavily in the news at the moment for the second thing that I'm going to talk about or whether it's some form of like, I don't know, not conspiracy or something like that, but just some like actual like agenda that somebody has to just be like, oh, look at all the cool shit that he did. He's not that bad of a guy. Remember Men in Black? Mm. Men in Black was funny. Like, Yeah, so yeah, the, he's just like getting... I, I think it makes more sense that he's getting pushed to some degree, especially coming up close to the Oscars. Maybe they wanted some kind of outrage to be like, but, Ooh, we need him at the Oscars because he's going to bitch slap someone. But they banned Holy him. Shit. <laughs> yeah, but they that's banned what I mean. Him. <laughs> to, get that, to get that like reversed. They banned him, and then Jimmy Kimmel's entire opening monologue was just a shittier version of Chris Rock's closing monologue of his latest special. I haven't, I haven't watched it yet. I've heard it good was things. the second thing that I was going to talk about, and it's a pretty good watch. I, I heard it was like a good case of emotional damage um, dished out. It was one of those things. It's like if you're a comedy purist and you're especially like a massive Chris Rock fan, you wouldn't have enjoyed it as much from an actual comedy perspective in the sense that he uses a lot more aggressive tones and makes a lot more points than actual jokes. The jokes, Some of the jokes that he makes, or especially his closer, is pretty fucking funny. But he makes a bunch of jokes and then all of a sudden it sort of flips halfway through to a bit more of just like a rant towards people. Like... Pretty much at like the 35th minute mark, he calls his ex-wife a bitch. Hmm. And then sort of... Is. Oh, well, like from anything I've heard, yeah, she seems to be. And sort of goes on from there. Um, he makes a, he does make a good couple of like points kind of thing in the sense that he says something like, our biggest addiction is attention. And we used to... Like the tagline for that was, we used to want love, now we only want likes. And I thought hmm. that was really fucking good. Um, yeah. And I feel okay saying this shit as well because it's like you could literally go to probably I reckon a thousand different TikTok pages right now, start at one video halfway through their feed and scroll through and watch the entire special. Like it's fucking everywhere. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I won't. Always is going to be. I won't hit the like closer or anything for you guys because it's fucking like it's a good line. But he literally spends the last ten minutes of the special calling Will Smith a bitch in a smart way 
calls his wife a bitch, um, and then sort of makes a really good point, which leads into a good joke of why he didn't retaliate. And then there's all of this shit over the last couple of days of, oh, well, Will Smith hasn't watched the stand-up special, but he's had people tell him about it, and he's upset that Chris can't get over it. What? And then Chris turns around to her and he's like, motherfucker, like, you haven't even said sorry to me. Like, yeah. why the just fuck do I have to anything? everyone else. Yeah, exactly. Backwards. Um, yeah, I mean, I've seen, like, a couple of different things about Will Smith, like, being outraged about the things that were said about him. It's like, you know, you should probably be more outraged about other things that happened. Like, like why? your life. Why are you outraged? You like bitch slapped a man on like international TV and now he's a comedian and he's writing jokes about it, which is like his fucking job. Like, Keep his wife's name. That's your motherfucking <laughs> mouth. But he ain't gonna do that. He's a comedian. He's gonna put that shit right in his mouth and spit it everywhere. No, like but that's tr- exactly the point that he made of like, yeah, you're obviously lashing out because your wife sucked your son's friend's dick then asked you about it on national television brutal hey that is legit one of his jokes was just like how he's like everybody in this room has been cheated on like how many people in this room have been cheated on then interviewed by the person that cheated on you yeah fucking savage eh? yeah like that whole red table talk bullshit if you can ever sit through it is ridiculous hmm is it Will Smith and Jada Smith talking? It's the whole family. Yeah, no, I'm good. I mean, it's all respectfully, there's not four of them. That's even weirder. Oh, so it's got the the kids, the son, daughter. Yeah, Jayden. the son, the son, daughter, and the daughter, son. Yeah, Jayden's that's sitting down listening to how his mum sucked his mate's dick. <laughs> yeah, no, that weird motherfucker. He's probably jealous he didn't get his dick sucked. It's like, mum, the fuck. Jealous he wasn't sucking his mates. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was fucking trying to cut in there. It's fucking fucking snake me. Fuck a bitch. <laughs> fucking hell. If fucking gave me the call, would have fucking helped you? Would have cuffed the fucking balls a bit or something? I don't know. <laughs> but like, even yeah, just like thinking about it from somebody like his perspective, man. Like, how do you like your relationship with both of those people changes? And it yeah. wasn't just, like, one of his son's friends as well. Like, just some random dude that come around to the house every now and then. They, like, rehabbed this cunt through a drug problem and he was, like, living with them and shit. Yeah, that's even fucking worse. Yeah. Fucking hell. I mean, good on him, though. Not a, yeah, that's a fucking mad story to go tell your mates, eh? It's like, what's yeah, this? Fuck it. Wait, <laughs> fucking boys, I fucking... Got put in rehab, fucking went and lived with Will Smith for a while. Got his wife to suck me dick. <laughs> fucking... And then she interviewed him on fucking live television. Fucking have a go at it. Ooh, right here. See, that's, that's a picture of me. That's a picture of me. It's like, fuck. You just have the best story ever to tell for the rest of your life. It sucks to be Will Smith. Like, no one needs to... No one needs to get cheated on. But you're definitely not going to go, like, full defending that bitch and, like, ruining your reputation afterwards. No. For like for someone that's just probably like, what your son gets another friend, if like you got to be like full careful, making sure she doesn't have a bit of come on her chin at all times. <laughs> it's like he's defending her, not knowing about it. She full like hold him and done an interview, and then he's like, keep my wife's name out your mouth. Just try keeping every cunt's dick out of hers, can't? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Fuck. <laughs> Imagine if he just didn't yell at Chris Rock and he just turned to that bitch and just yelled that at her. Keep my maid's dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Keep your son's friend's dicks out of my <laughs> Yeah, you just be like, all right, fucking. Bro, if he, if he <laughs> said that to Jada, then got up and slapped Chris Rock, fine. Fine. <laughs> yeah. I think even Chris still would have been like, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah, what you, the fuck, but yeah. No one would be mad at him. Everyone would be like, oh, yeah, you know what I mean? Like, you're just taking out a bit of frustration on both ends there. But legitimately, man, he's a joke. We were like, we were leaving your old man's place before and the Oscars were on. And I remember coming home and like something came up on my Facebook about it. And, or maybe it was on the TV in there. And I was just watching Jimmy Kimmel just joke about the fact that there's security around and 
all of the people that you're going to have to go through to get to him if you want to get up there and slap him. And, like, it's just a fucking joke now. Will, Will Smith was, like, seated just about on the fucking stage. Just, like, couldn't have been any closer to get up and walk and slap that yeah. cunt in the face. Yeah. I don't know what Rock was thinking. You've just got to be thinking it's the Oscars. He ain't going to do shit. And then just bam. <laughs> Full bitch move, though. He, like, slapped him and then quickly, like, scurried away. Yeah. It's like, that's pussy move. And then, the po- like, the point that Chris Rock made is, like, slapping a man that's, like, a whole foot shorter than you. Yeah, it's just a fucking bitch move. He's like, what the fuck was I going to do? Like, not even that, bro. Will Smith's, like, trained. Like he train yeah. he trains all the fucking time, like yeah. does like boxing and like all that sort of shit, like training for fitness. So he like knows how to throw a punch and shit. And then you just got little fucking Chris Rock up there. Dude, he trained to be he trained to play Muhammad Ali. That's what I mean. Like, and I'm pretty yeah. sure he still does it. Like now, like he does it to keep fit and shit. Yeah. So like, and there's Chris Rock who's probably fucking hardly ever thrown a punch in his fucking life. Bro, it's a different story. Imagine if someone like. <laughs> Like, I don't know, like, Michael J. White was the fucking, the host of the Oscars. That doesn't happen. No, no way. Oh, fuck no. They're just going to say whatever the fuck they want. Imagine if, like, they give Rogan the hosting job that year, and he well, says that shit. Will Smith starts trying to walk up on him and gets kicked into a fucking coma. He, exactly, yeah. He would just spinning back kick him in the chest so fucking hard, his lungs yeah. would fall out of his back. Yeah, it wouldn't be good. And even if, like, Joe didn't react and did get slapped, by the time Will Smith turned around, he'd be on his back. Yeah. Choking him unconscious. And then that would be a scene at the Oscars. Just like, oh, my God, Joe Rogan is killing this man. <laughs> Where the fuck's Herb Dean? Like, who's going to get, get him off? There's no one. Man, Herb ain't going to stop that shit. going to say Herb's known for stopping him late. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> this motherfucker's just, like, gone purple, with blood coming out of his ears. You're like, man, I think he's dead, eh? Well, the worst part is Herb wouldn't even know he's supposed to be there. They're just like fucking, he's just sitting there watching on a live TV like, man, like Joe's really giving it to him. All of a sudden his phone starts going off. It's like, why's Dana calling me? Bro, are you going to call this off? Yeah. What are you talking about? You're scheduled for this fight. Yeah. What? Oh, fuck. I didn't even know this thing was going ahead tonight. Standing there watching the big screen. Yeah. That's, that's fucking, he's got to be popping up into everything first. Yeah. Because he's like, in the news because of uh, Chris Rock special. And then yeah. I reckon there's got to be like some, because all I've heard about the Oscars is like, oh, Will Smith's not allowed to come. Who gives a fuck? Yeah, Will good. Smith is probably fucking sad or he didn't slap some cunt sooner, so he didn't have to go. Yeah. He's like, I fuck mean, yeah, he got the night off, don't have to worry about going to that bullshit. I'll just sit here, sink piss, go to bed whenever I want, don't have to deal with any of them fuckwits. <laughs> like, well, he, he, he just made it worse for himself too because I knew nothing about the Jada stuff. I knew nothing about it. And even if he didn't slap him, if he just got roasted a little bit and was like, oh yeah, good work, he wouldn't have, like, it wouldn't have blown up. But then it just blew up afterwards because it, it came out like public knowledge, like, oh no, his wife was cheating on him. That's a good point. You don't consume enough, like, <laughs> public media for that to be common knowledge in your world. But no. the fact that he had a fucking outburst and did that, it's now, like, what, there's 8 billion people on the planet? I reckon five and a half of them know that some of your friend's sons got their fucking clocks cleaned by your missus on the way out. Yeah, it's it's got to not only be him. Like, there's got to be a couple more. That was just, like the dude that it was most recent and she needed some ammo to fucking put him down a bit. The dude that fucking everyone, the, the most recent one, it's like, yeah, I just roll with that guy. Yeah. Like, Isn't she like tied to Tupac somehow? Yeah, she was Tupac's like girlfriend before he died. Cocksucker before she found Will Smith yeah, and right. the rest of them. <laughs> That's why Tupac got shot at can you imagine being with one of the like hardest rappers of all time and then going and getting with the dude that made Get Jiggy With It fresh, in the summertime? Went from, you went from After fucking being, Tupac to the Fresh Prince. You go from the guy that starts... It was starts a good show, his, but fuck, it wasn't exactly you, gangster. Nah. Yeah, you go from the guy that starts these songs with I. that's why I fucked your bitch, you fat motherfucker. 
<laughs> and proceeds to name literally every rapper on the fucking East Coast and says he's going to kill them. And then the guy that says, West Philadelphia born and raised, and talks about <laughs> getting into a little bit of trouble so he's got to get out of town. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Like, fuck, man, we wouldn't be yeah. having this conversation if Tupac was still alive. He would have just shot Chris Rock. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that wouldn't... It wouldn't have gone down too fucking well. Holy shit. I mean... Well, no, he would have just... He would have just... He would have just fucking shot August, the bloke whose dick she sucked. Oh, 100%. Yeah. And yeah. then... That, Probably Jada as well. Yeah. That, <laughs> yeah, and there wouldn't have been any form of joke. Imagine him trying to fucking pick on that kind of the... <laughs> at the Oscars. Let's get up yeah. and shoot him. It ain't going to go well at all. What a fucking... What a circus, though. What, what, what is the Oscars? I, I don't understand. To be it's fair. It's for movies. Is it like They're a Melbourne all... Cup, but for movies? <laughs> Only when Sarah Jessica Parker's there because she looks like a fucking horse. <laughs> <laughs> I um, she is either. The main girl from Sex in the City. No. No. Got nothing because I don't know what else she's in, so we're pretty well fucked there. Yeah. Um. Never heard of him. Nah, I've never heard of the bloke either. Something. He's, he sounds alright though. Something I like wanted to talk about that sort of like rolls back into almost a little bit of the conspiracy talk, but like in the sense that some of these people are becoming like undeniable. If you know what I mean. Not conspiracy theorists per se, but like that CoffeeZilla guy. He yeah. was on Rogan recently. So it's like somebody like that who didn't really have... Well, not didn't really, but like had a decent outreach before. <clears throat> but is now getting this huge popularity boost from somebody like Rogan. Or I think it sort of maybe the point that I'm trying to make really is it's just how crazy how much of an impact he one person has on like the viewability of something or just the way that shit gets pushed out. That that dude's a smart dude. The way he like created a whole platform around making a name off other people doing dumb shit, which is so smart. Like he just has to sit in the background, do nothing, just be smart, don't fuck up and then just, you know, catch out other people doing dumb shit on the internet. And then just yes. make videos about it. It's fucking shit and, way and to make crust, but it's a fucking smart. No, way like it. It, it's it's a brilliant system in the sense that like people are gonna fuck up. Like yeah. he, you know, made a whole bunch of contro- like not controversy, he got a whole bunch of following behind investigating all of this Logan Paul crypto stuff and then talking about the whole like FTX scandal. Um, as it is, which is something we should probably look into as well. It's fucking very interesting with all of that shit. Like, fucking high-level fucking, you know, multi-millionaires just suiciding themselves in the weirdest fucking ways. And, you know, just one of those cases where it's like, oh, conveniently, all of these people that have all of this information are just dead in some strange-ass fucking way. Why? Yeah, I still don't, like... I've said it like a few episodes ago. It's just so sus how they just like the ability to just kill people off and then like no one be like, oh, that's kind of weird. Well, it breaks back into the point of like everything's just this. It, it's all about turnaround. That's what everything yeah. has become. No one puts effort into things anymore. And it, and it's it's it works both ways in the sense that like people stop putting effort into things and then like like look at it from like a like the world of games kind of thing, like. People get like a hundred or a hundred and fifty hour fucking RPG kind of thing, blow through it in a week, and then they're just like, okay, what's next? Yeah. It's like, motherfucker, just take your time. Yeah, relax. Enjoy the scenery around you for five fucking minutes and don't just constantly look to consume the next thing. Mm. I mean, you know, that's what we're best at. Consuming. I was about to say, we say as we make content. Yeah, no, nah, consume people. We need you to consume. Speaking of consuming, <laughs> um, you can consume us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, fucking Spotify, Apple, fucking wherever. It is. Like, you know, just look. You'll you name it, we're there. Eggplant Tornado Podcast. Help us help you enjoy something. Whether it be the Veggie Bait, whether it be the Eggplant Tornado Podcast. Up to you. Sorry. Same my opportunity. Took it. <laughs> just took it and ran with it. 
Thank um, you. there's not a whole lot else I wanted to talk about, really. Maybe just one little. Theory. Okay, I got one. I want to touch on. So a guy, I don't know exactly where he's living. I should probably have looked into that. I think I did, but then I just whoosh, fucking gone. Um, he lives in America somewhere, driving home from work one day, and he sees a giant walking across the mountain. Films it briefly, but it's like shitty phone quality video but you can make out like whatever that thing is up there is huge looks like a human but just like massive walks across this mountain for a bit um he tries to go back that night and get a bit closer and just like see what it could have been he gets stopped by a government official just out near the place somewhere gets sent on his way type thing didn't have his camera filming at the time so he's like i'm gonna try go back then tomorrow night and if he pulls me up again i'll record what happens? Yeah, he goes back the next night. The guy pulls him up again. The exact same guy, exact same car. Uh, pulls him up. Pretty much says you can't come in here. Sends him on his way. Uh, for like a couple of days after that, he starts noticing the car outside of his house. The car that pulled him up. And then he goes out and tries to f- confront the guy. And then the guy just like fucking scoots off, drives away. He's driving back from work a separate day and... There's like two massive army helicopters carrying something out of that area. Uh, you don't really get to see what it is. It's just like whatever it is, it's huge. And then he just goes like MIA for a while. They like they reckon like a couple of weeks. He just goes like doesn't post anything. And then posts like a real sketchy video like Logan Paul style where he's like looking off to the side the whole time. But just saying like real strange shit. Talking about... Um, yeah, none of it's real. Uh, it was all just for views, this, that, and the other. Later that night, posts another video, full, like sketchy as, like on his filmed on his phone, real close to him. He's like, you can tell he's just not in a good way. Talking about like, none of it was fake. Like, they made me film this video and shit. Uh, went missing, never been seen since then. Wow. What the fuck? But it's Crazy. like, yeah, it's like you, I can't, I don't, I, I did look at his name and shit, but I just didn't write it down. Kyle or something maybe I don't know but yeah it's like big on TikTok you see it on TikTok pop up fairly occasionally and the thing looks like Bigfoot like it actually looks like like Sasquatch right it's fucking sh- stupid but yeah but he went fucking he's gone presumed dead I guess I don't I didn't look into it past that like what happened to his body I mean yeah you would assume so yeah he would have got suicided but it's like, yeah, he just kept making the content like, oh man, this car's like out the front of my fucking house. And then he just, yeah, goes real quiet. And just seems like full sus video where he's like, yeah. And then like looks at the camera like, yeah, yeah. It's just weird. But the government has that ability to do shit and they've proved it time and time again. Yeah, and it just seems like they're willing to flex that muscle whenever the fuck they want. Hey. Yeah, well, it's like, what are we, what's anyone going to do about it? Yeah, exactly. Like, as, like, a whole, we could probably do some shit about it, but, like, just, like, a couple of people here and there being like, this is weird, don't do shit. <laughs> yeah, not at all. So you need, like, you need the band to get back together, you know? Sweet chin music, <laughs> your way to the government. <laughs> Degeneration X. I <laughs> like that, you can suck it. <laughs> Ray Ripley does that pretty often at WWE events and would. <laughs> I'd suck a dick. Oh, fucking hell. I bet she's got one too. She could. She can do whatever she wants. It doesn't bother me. She looks more manly than Dominic Mysterio, that's for sure. <laughs> he plays a funny part where he's like, they like do like the fake went to jail thing and now he just plays into that character where he's like, Acts like, man, when I was away doing time. <laughs> yeah, shut the fuck up. <laughs> uh, shut up. You are the whitest Latino I've ever seen. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> but then they just make him look stupid. Like, that's like one of... He's like a legend. Like, his dad is a legend of wrestling. WCW yeah. legend, ECW legend. Like, just a legend. They and turn they, him in... Yeah. There they you like, he, he has to get fucked on by his son. And then not only that, they make his son, like, fuck on him. And then they just start making his son look stupid. There's like a clip popped up on TikTok and it's um 
his son in a restaurant not being able to pay for the meal because Ray cut his cards off. Because obviously Ray was still paying the bills. Or like, no, no, no. This guy's a pro wrestler. He's got his own money. Yeah, that's how that works. Yeah. The storylines just get so faulty. The oh, the other one was even worse, where he was like a cuck to Rhea Ripley. He was calling a mummy. Yeah, that's still a thing, I'm pretty sure. Oh, God. Yeah, like, so, Ray, what we're going to do, right, is we're going to take your flesh and blood. Yeah. We're just going to make him the worst cunt ever. Pretty much. And he's going to embarrass you multiple times. And you go to work ridiculous storylines with him. Oh, can we at least just change his name to something completely different? No, no, no. His last name will be Mysterio. He will be linked with you at all points of his career. He, um, he's also playing a big part into like the old storyline that Eddie and Ray had, where it was like Eddie was Dominic's dad. They had a storyline. What line. the fuck? And they, they, had a, they had a ladder match at the end of the thing for adoption papers. This is real. This is legit. Adopt. For what? For Ray's kid, Dominic. The guy that wrestles now. They had a match for him. Like, obviously before Eddie died. Oh, right. I do remember that, actually. Yeah. And Dom's playing into that storyline again now, where he was always like, he just keeps bringing Eddie back into it. And and then they made, like, Ray Ripley's meant to be, like, China, essentially. You know what I mean? Yeah. Her and Eddie used to have, like, the same thing that Dom and Ray have now. It's just weird. Don't, like, just let Eddie just rest easy, you know? He's dead. Yeah. He's <laughs> like... Uh, bring back some Chris Benoit storylines. I was about I to say, if, like, that'll be the line, hey, they just start bringing back fucking Chris Benoit shit. They won't talk about him. They cut any, like, anything that he was in, you can't find it on, like, wherever you watch WWE shit. They just like wiped like his WrestleMania match is gone. Like yeah, they just got rid of all trace of him, which is fair. Like double double murder suicide, not a real great for your business. Yeah, the only thing you can watch is that really like harrowing documentary where they all talk about it. Yeah, I wonder if he got her in a crossface. <laughs> I think that's where we call it for today. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> Where can they find us, Grew? Oh, fucking Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, Twitter. Okay, wherever you look, uh, just search in Crippler Crossface in the search bar and you'll find us. Um, nah, I bet. <laughs> You've spoken about it that much. It's probably the only place to fucking find it, that's for sure. Yeah. No, you can find us on um the Eggplant Tornado podcast without the... the Fuck it out. So just eggplant, tornado podcast. Um, we're everywhere though. Oh, fuck me dead. Tell you he's not everywhere. <laughs> what? Tell you he's not everywhere. <laughs> Who? Chris Benoit's family, obviously. <laughs> oh. <they're> dead. <laughs> All right, let's look that on. Oh my god. All right. Um, and we'll see you next week. Back back on a normal schedule. A regular schedule. Mm. Peace. Mm.